Hello everyone, here Aka Inen here and welcome to Swiss coin roll hunting. I'm hunting those rolls because I can find loads and loads of old coins in them. I've already hunted them before and I know well from what I'm speaking. I've already hunted those before and got good results, so I decided to make a video out of it to you, so you can see it. We have uh, 1926 and 1922 sitting right on top here on this roll, with, um, clearly visible. So that's already a proof that there's something old in this roll. I'm going to start with those two rolls first, because we have already two coins sitting right each other, next to each other on the top of those coins rolls. So I'm going to start with this roll first. 1942, sitting right at the top here, you can see it. Beautiful coin. We can see the dots on the crown, which is really nice because on the, the coin when it's new, it has all the dots on the crown here, right there. And you can see the ends of the, the thingy that's going down here. There's a little bit of dirt or something I can clean off later. Which is special about those coins is they have the name Confederatio Helvetica. It's a um, Swiss coin from the front. Dirty here, dirty here. And clean it up later. I do 42. Okay, next one. Okay, nothing in this roll anymore, so only 42. Next roll. Okay, the next roll, there's top uh, sitting on the top, 926. Let's get it out. Well worn, I don't know what happened here, but suddenly got scraped. A little bit sad, but that's like it. I mean, those coins, when they're that such old, there's a lot of things that happened to them. 1926, a little bit dirty. Scratch, scratch, damage, damage. Here is, I don't know what happened. All sides damaged as well on the border. Still nice find. Okay, see you in the next one. Uh, 1975. For a uh, I'm taking out all, all the coins to 1959. Because they have value until this date. This one is rather more than, but it still has value. Just a little bit of dirt here and there. Not really good condition for such a um, young coin. More modern current coin. Okay, 1957. See you in the next coin. Okay, next coin, 1959 and 1958. Has no stuff like gunk, like I don't know what, dirt or something like similar. It has some shine of patina, which is nice, but the crown is worn off completely. 1958, modern coin, still nice find. Okay, see you in the next one. Okay, third roll. This time there was nothing sitting right on the top, so I don't know if there's something in this roll. Ah, 1959. 
it's a little bit oxidated here because they're made of co out of copper and nickel. 25% uh, uh, copper, 75% nickel. That's why they're oxidating green. Okay, that's fine. Still a modern coin, but worn. Crown, uh, crown is not there anymore. Okay, see you in the next one. Nada. Fourth roll. Let's go open this one. Let's see if something inside I have it. Nineteen fifty nine. This one is a little bit better in the quality. The color crown is not that much gone or used. And the rest isn't beaten up as like the one, the one before. So everything is like the crown is in really good shape. Nice find. Okay, see you in the next one. This is the fifth roll. Modern coins, modern coins, 80s, 70s, 1962, nothing interesting. Those 1962, we all, of those I see every time, a bunch of them. Because they printed so many of those, I don't know why. This three especially. And I started to hate it because it looks old, but it's not. It has no value at all. Anyways. Modern, modern, modern. 2000. Interesting that it's so wide. I've never seen this before. I guess it's paint or something like similar. 69. Special date because it's the moon landing. I've cleaned a little bit up this coin from 2000. Now it's a, you can see how the crown is completely there. Just um, some comparison to the old ones. When it's really good quality is when the crown is completely visible. You can still sleep real Hevetia. Hevetia. Okay, I'm starting with the th sixth roll. Last one had nothing but a little bit old, like 60s or something like this. Perhaps this one has something. Ah, right there. 95.55. Has no gunk on it. A little bit used. Scratch. Crown is not completely there, so average. Medium coin, only low collector's value, like the rest of them. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's move on with the sixth roll. Bummer, nothing. Seventh roll. No, that's the eighth one. Empty again. Oops. 1958 was in the last roller. A little bit oxidated here and here. Other side has no gunk on it. 
still shiny from some sort. The crown is already used up, so it has been circulating for a long time. Okay, see you in the next one. Ninth row. Whoa, what do we have here? I can't already tell that one is all. First, it doesn't have an explosion. Okay, the rest one is not interesting. Let's see, what do we have here? Now, go in this one. Not that much used here. It can be from the 50s, but because 1953 can look old. But it can be from the 20s or 30s and really good condition. 1953, light toilet. Oxidated here, here, gone here, here, here. Those coins, I really like them because they look old and they are some sort of old, but some die things they're in really good condition. This one here has no crown either, or used up, but it has a nice patina. Okay, 1953, see you on the next one. Okay, but last but not least, 10th row, let's see what we have here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Come on, don't be disappointing. That one can't be something. Hold it. 1955 again. No gunk, no oxidation. Used up a lot. Crown is missing. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, that was it. Nothing else. Let's see again a little bit. Those are the results of this coin roll hunt. We have the best one is 1926. Not so good condition sampling because it has been used a lot. It's 1942, mint condition for its age. 1953, a little bit oxidated, but that's nothing in comparison of its beauty. It's really nice patina like the rest of them. And there are, up there, there are, are the common coins, which I call them, because there's, I have so many of those, they're not special for me anymore. And I really like those three. This is one. For 1955, two times, 1957, once, 1958, twice, and 1959, twice. We can see that was, those are the special coins I'm keeping, and those are the rest of them. Quite impressive, right? I mean it. It's only 50 francs. So those are all the coins we have. I hope you enjoyed watching, and see you on the next one. Bye.